Rich Dad said, if you will keep your small agreements, you will keep your big agreements. A person who cannot keep his or her small agreements can never have bigger dreams come true. I bring this idea in now because there are so many people who have big plans, but their big plans never come true. The reason is, too many people have big plans but fail to keep their small agreements. As Rich Dad said, people who do not keep their small agreements are people who cannot be trusted. If you cannot be trusted with small agreements, people will not help you make your big dreams come true. If you cannot keep your word, then people fail to trust you and have little confidence in you and your words. So I pass on the words of wisdom from both my dads, and those words are, be sure your words and your actions are one. In summary, if you want to retire young and retire rich, take the time to constantly upgrade your financial vocabulary and have the integrity to walk the talk rather than just talk. Always remember that words are tools for the brain and that there are fast words and slow words to wealth. The Leverage of Fairy Tales Rich Dad loved fairy tales, especially the story of the tortoise and the hare and the three little pigs. He absorbed their lessons, and those lessons guided his life. I remember him saying, Many times in life you will meet people who are smarter, faster, richer, more powerful, and more gifted than you. Just because they have a head start in you does not mean you cannot win the race. If you will keep faith in yourself, do the things that most people do not want to do, and keep making progress on a daily basis, the race of life will be yours. He would often intertwine the story of the tortoise and the hare with the story of the three little pigs. When I was around 12 years old, Rich Dad said, Poor people build financial houses made of straw. The middle class build financial houses made of sticks. And rich people build houses of brick. He would then add, To be a successful tortoise, it's okay to be slow, but be sure you are slowly building a house of bricks. In 1968, while at home for Christmas leave from the academy I attended in New York, Rich Dad and his son invited me to their new home, which was the penthouse of his new hotel. Remember me telling you those stories, Rich Dad said, as we gazed from his balcony over the white sand beach and crystal blue ocean. The stories of the tortoise and the hare and the three little pigs? I do, I said, still amazed at the beauty of their new home, high on top of their new hotel. I remember them well. Well, here is the house of bricks, he said with a grin. In 1968, while standing on the balcony of his penthouse, Rich Dad reminded me of another fairy tale. Do you know the story of the ugly duckling, he asked. I nodded my head as I leaned over the balcony. Well, most of my life I saw myself as the ugly duckling. When I dropped out of school at age 13, I saw the world as an outsider, someone who did not fit, someone who had been left behind. While working in my parents' store, high school boys would come in and push me around or damage the store, knocking cans off the shelves or throwing oranges out on the road and daring me to do something about it. 